Welcome to a new vlog. I think it's been almost two months since our last uh, in the mail, so here we go with a new episode. First, I'm gonna show you these uh, drill bits that I got from uh, Banggood. So let's open this bag. Wow, they double bagged it. Extra points for protection. So these are the drill bits, they're kind of sticky, I mean I could have understand if they were oily but sticky, why they are sticky I don't understand, I'm gonna need to wash my hands after this item. But uh, these are 13 pieces uh, HSS hex shaped uh, drill bits, quarter inch, that you can easily uh, mount in a uh, portable hand drill. I mean, I'm not sure if there is uh, any other purpose for having this uh, hex shaft, but that's how I see it. I can even use it on my uh, mini uh, screwdriver, right like that, to uh, drill small holes in soft materials. It's not ideal, of course, there is a little bit of uh, play on the shaft, so uh, you need to be careful and drill at low speed and only in uh, soft materials. Certainly, certainly not something I would use every day, but it will prove useful someday. So I ordered this set to have them in my uh, toolbox ready for when I need them. So those uh, drill bits really left uh, some sticky residue on my hand. I need to I needed to wash my hands uh, several times to get it off. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. Our next item, uh, still in the toolbox department, I got a set of these uh, cheap o-ring uh, pick tools. So for uh, $3 you get four tools delivered, which is amazing. I mean, I'm uh, ordering uh, tens of packages every month from China, but sometimes I'm still amazed at uh, what you can get for the money. Don't get me wrong, these are not quality items, but they are half decent. They have some rubber molded on the handle, so it's uh, easier to grip them. They'll probably break at the tip if you apply too much force, I guess that's the weak point, cheap uh, metal used. But I will be using this uh, so rarely that I think it's a good uh, price to quality ratio. I needed one of these uh, recently to remove an o-ring, so that's why I ordered a set. As usual. Links for these items will be placed in the uh, description below the video and by clicking those links you are supporting this channel so thank you for that. For the next item I will start with a question how many of you have a Torx number no. 2 screwdriver in your toolbox? Because I have like three sets of bits and individual uh, screwdrivers but counting only the small ones and another two or three sets of uh, bigger bits. I recently helped a friend to change the LCD screen on his smartphone and I realized I do not have a T2 screwdriver for removing the small uh, screws uh, inside that smartphone. Luckily I managed to borrow one from a friend who had the iFixit screwdriver set so I was able to uh, do that job. I was also thinking about getting the iFixit screwdriver set myself which looks kind of nice and has everything inside, but when you add shipping cost, I find it a bit too expensive. So I just bought one of these uh, cheap T2 screwdrivers from eBay, because even though it's very low quality, it should last me using it at least two or three times, which is more than enough for, for my needs. You only find T2 screws on smartphones, and since I don't open those too often, uh, I won't be uh, using this guy too much. Next up, I got myself one of these uh, Nightcore T-Series uh, compact flashlight. And this tiny flashlight is capable of 45 lumen output. And it's also got some nice features built in like a rechargeable internal battery, uh, two modes of operation high and low, and also an adjustable mode where you can adjust the brightness in uh, several steps. So it's pretty feature packed for how small it is and uh, it's quite popular, you can find these in many different uh, colors. What I'm curious is if this is a genuine Nightcore uh, flashlight or not, 
I'm not going to investigate that in, in this video, but it's just a question I have in my head. Are these uh, Nightcore flashlights that are sold on Banggood genuine or not? So, a ring uh, flew away, but that's okay, I will find it later. So here is the small uh, micro USB for charging the internal battery with a nice uh, rubber seal. Here is the on off button. This is the high brightness setting. So it's like I said, pretty nice uh, compact uh, flashlight. And as you can see, it will last one hour on the high setting, 48 hours on the low setting. It's impact resistant and a bunch of uh, other features. The price is around $9 with free shipping. So it's not bad for a keychain uh, light uh, or something to be kept in the purse of the ladies to illuminate the staircase at night. Next, I got this uh, panel meter, which can measure volts and uh, amps. Let me open it without cutting the wires included in the package. This guy can measure voltage and current up to 200 volts and 10 amps, but there, there are probably other variations of this uh, with uh, different ranges as well. In fact, if we take a closer look at the label, we can see the different uh, variations that they uh, make for this uh, panel meter. I didn't get any info from the listing on the resolution or the accuracy, but it looks like it has uh, four digits. So uh, let's try to power this up and see what kind of uh, resolution we're getting. Okay, so it works at uh, five volts and it looks like we're getting a 10 millivolt uh, resolution and uh, one milliamp resolution it certainly looks like i mean i see the uh, dot right here and i can see on my uh, camera that it it shows this um, scanning of uh, in digits but that's just due to the frame rate of the camera that's not visible in uh, real life. So yeah, it looks like uh, we're getting uh, 10 millivolts resolution, which is not bad. Now let's also test the ammeter and see if uh, we're getting uh, 1 milliamp resolution. And indeed we are getting 1 milliamp resolution. Let me try increase this in steps of 1 milliamp see if we get any response yet it seems like uh, we are getting one milliamp resolution which is uh, great i mean this could be a great uh, panel meter for a uh, power supply and the cost is just four dollars with free shipping which is not uh, bad at all in fact i might do a follow-up video on this uh, in checking for checking its uh, accuracy yep a great uh, panel meter so far but it also depends on uh, the accuracy and if we if we can calibrate it or uh, not. I do see a couple of adjustment pots on the back, so uh, it might be possible to calibrate both the voltage and the uh, current uh, display. Our next item is a step-down DC to DC converter with a claimed efficiency of 95%. That was the thing that really got my eye, that figure of efficiency. It has an input voltage of uh, 5 to 24 volts and is capable of up to 2.5 amps continuous at output. It's curious that even though it has uh, no markings on the uh, PCB, the product was sold as Rui Deng brand on Banggood.com and uh, if you don't know the name, they're the guys that make the integrated uh, DC to DC power supply modules that are very popular right now. So I think it might be worth doing a follow-up video on the subject and uh, measure the efficiency of the module to see if we can get that figure of 95% as uh, advertised. Next, we have this uh, dust sensor, which has a rather long part number uh, you'll find that in the description below. It should be made by Sharp, but uh, considering it's, it's coming from uh, China and I only paid like $4 uh, shipping included, 
you might have doubts about uh, it being genuine. So this is how the uh, sensor looks like. I'm tempted to remove this cover and see how it looks inside. So let's do that. So the way this sensor works, you can see here we have a um, uh, IR LED and an IR detector, both of which are facing uh, this hole where the dust can get in. The IR LED will light up the dust particles floating in this uh, part of the sensor and the IR detector um, will detect them and then that signal gets amplified and uh, presented as an analog output which is not very useful if you don't uh, calibrate the sensor against a uh, known value or against a known instrument. Just out of the box you can only take relative measurements and uh, compare between them. But anyway, I just thought this um, is uh, interesting, so I got one. Also, another reason is that seven or eight years ago, these sensors were very expensive and you couldn't get near them with hobby level budgets. It's also interesting how they have these uh, test pads. There are six uh, test pads and then they have these openings on this uh, metal uh, cover to access those uh, test points probably with some uh, pogo pins. Next up I have this uh, set of uh, RP SMA to SMA right angle connectors which uh, will be used for my FPV gear because most of the times you have the uh, video transmitter laying flat but you want your antenna to be uh, sticking up from the transmitter so you need one of these uh, 90 degrees adapter and I also got these uh, 50 ohm uh, terminators for uh, RP SMA uh, connectors I need these to terminate one of the inputs to a uh, triple feed uh, Pagoda patch antenna and I'll show you an image on screen right now these types of antenna by design they have two inputs one on the left side and one on the right thus giving you the option to choose the polarization of the antenna however it is best to terminate the unused input to get the best performance so I plan to use one of those antennas in my FPV setup hence the need for a 50 ohm uh, termination Next I got one of these uh, breakout boards uh, which looks kind of interesting but I'll show you that in a second because right now we can only see the back of the board. So this is a breakout for the uh, INA3221 from Texas Instruments. So on uh, a breakout board you get uh, three shunt resistors and the INA3221 because this chip is a high side current monitor but a triple channel high side current monitor and voltage monitor with I squared C interface. So you heard right it's a triple monitor that means it can monitor three different rails. So I guess they must have had some application that uh, required monitoring three rails so they figured let's integrate everything into one chip because it's cheaper to do it that way. The breakout board costs around eight dollars shipping included so it's a little bit more expensive than the usual single channel measurement boards but it might be useful in uh, some application where you need to monitor multiple rails you could use this for example in a dual output power supply and uh, as always you will find the link for this in the description below i also got this uh, short hdmi cable i think it's uh, just one meter long and uh, rather thin I was hoping it's also flexible and soft but turns out it's a rather uh, stiff cable it's not so flexible I sometimes need a short cable for connecting my uh, laptop to a TV or a projector and it would be helpful if the cable is soft because of uh, ergonomics and stuff like that you don't want the cable to stress the HDMI connectors just because of the uh, weird angles and the fact it needs to bend on the sh on a sharp angle for example so if you know if any hdmi cables which are soft and flexible and just one meter long please let me know in the comment section 
this one will do the job for a while but it's not exactly what i'm looking for i'm looking for something that it's a bit more flexible which is usually not found in hdmi cables this is an assortment kit of uh, mini blade fuses there are 120 pieces in here with uh, ratings from uh, 5 amps to 30 amps in uh, 5 amps increments these are the mini sized uh, fuses which are usually found in uh, car uh, truck boat uh, motorcycle uh, circuits so it's always nice to have a set of uh, these uh, uh, blade fuses handy in case one of the fuses breaks and it needs replacing unlike uh, multimeter hrc fuses which have some precise uh, ratings these ones are not that critical so they should be fine for most circuits but if you want to be extra safe you can always find these under some brand name that can certify their quality and uh, precise ratings and you also get one of these uh, small tools for uh, removing fuses from uh, fuse boxes my next item is an arduino m0 clone let's open the bag we can see this one is also marked uh, wemos on the board i'm not sure if it's part of the wemos family or not if it's a clone of a wemos product or not but what i know for sure is that you can use this as a substitute for the classical arduino you know and you will get a more powerful microcontroller the Admel sam d21 which not only has a higher clock speed but also better peripherals and um, lower power consumption when compared to the uh, classical Atmega328. We don't see any USB to serial converter chip on this um, board, uh, which means it must be running the USB stack uh, with a serial port emulation. And that could mean that inside the main loop, you have to call the USB service routine to keep the connection alive. I'm not sure how the Arduino ID implements the USB connection because I've never used it, but I'm sure they have some decent example published. It's just something you need to be aware of that the USB service will also take up your processing uh, power, but probably on a small percentage. The board can be purchased for around the 11 bucks and uh, it might be a nice alternative to your uh, current Arduino board if you need the extra features. I also got some of this uh, 15 millimeter heat shrink tubing. This stuff is about 25 millimeter wide right now and will shrink to 15 millimeters when heated up. So keep that in mind when ordering heat shrink. This is good for protecting small PCBs and uh, big connectors. And sometimes I will add hot glue to the base of a connector the place where the wires are soldered to, to the taps and then I will slip a piece of heat shrink over that to get a more rigid uh, connection and get some uh, cable relief. And the last item in this mailbag video uh, is a spool of uh, nichrome wire. This spool is uh, 10 meters long and uh, just uh, 0.3 millimeters thick nichrome wire. I've never used this kind of wire before, but I'm going to tell you what I need it for. A few weeks ago, um, I needed to build a small rectangular acrylic box and I figured I could build it by folding a uh, single pre-cut sheet of acrylic. I saw a couple of YouTube videos using this uh, DIY rig, which had some uh, nichrome wire placed inside a groove that would heat up the acrylic sheet only along the uh, groove line where you needed to bend it quick precise and clean so i ended up cutting and gluing my box together but it will be nice to have this uh, wire and build that kind of uh, uh, setup if i ever need to bend acrylic sheets again this was all for today as always you'll find the links in the description for all the items shown in this video along with uh, timeline bookmarks by clicking the links I place in the description, you are supporting this channel and future production of videos like this. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and click the small bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video to the channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.